Hi, I'm Andy Kristen here with Nicole Peer. Nicole, being a high school journalist, how do you deal with the legal right of copyright? Well, normally we do our best to avoid that, like avoid anything that is copyright. So we're always sure to like um, make our pieces like as original as they can be. So. Hi, I'm Andy Kristner here with Zipporah Turner. Um, as a high school journalist, how do you deal with the legal copyright rule? I have faced issues with this in terms of where I'm getting pictures from, that kind of thing. Um, I think as a staff and as an editorial board, we've always just tried to cover our bases in terms of where we're getting our stuff from. Um, just making sure everything's taken care of before we publish anything. Um, it's definitely like gets in the way, it's like a roadblock sometimes, but we always push through it somehow. That's good. Well, thank you for your time and no have problem. a great day. Thank you. Hi, I'm Aiden Kristner here with Omar Youssef. Um, as a high school journalist, how do you deal with the copyright rule? Um, we deal with it appropriately, so we make sure everything we use from uh, other sources, we get approval from those sources. Mm -hmm. um, and what kind of sources have you guys used? Um, for example, like we use logos from like Twitter, Snapchat in our book, and um, this year we use music albums. And so we made sure we had approval from them, or approval from the state before we did that. And how long does it take to get approval for these logos? Um, it usually takes no longer than like a week to get approval from them. But like they're big corporations, so it takes some times longer. Hi, I'm Andy Kristner, here with Brock Steeb. And today our question is, how do high school journalists deal with a legal copyright issue? Uh, well, in my opinion, I feel like um, it just forces them to be like a bit more creative with uh, the things they make. Like you can't rely on things that are already pre-established. It, ma it makes you have to be think outside the box and be creative and all that stuff. Like in some situations, it's easier that way, but you can't always take the easy way. So right. And how does your school or your class take this issue? Like, do they do they find it more easier or harder for themselves? Um, it definitely has its challenges because there are some times when we want to include something in like a short film or a PSA or something like that and we just can't do it um, and then we just kind of got to work around it. It's not something that stops us, it just keeps us going. And next we have Brandon Morrow and as a high school journalist, how do you deal with the legal copyright? With copyright, it's a, it's a tough situation because I think it limits creativity really because like because there's some like like formats that you like they want to use and like not and you're not not allowed to just because of, of copyright laws and like at the same time I think it forces people to be creative but if you're not typically a creative person then it's, then it's hard for you to figure out what you really want to do like with a project like video your book like anything in general like it's, it's hard to figure out what to do